Hey guys, as promised, this is my Inglot review. So let's get started. I decided to split this into two different videos. I'm gonna have a review video and a swatch video. So this is the review video. If you wanna see just the swatches of the product, click right here. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Many of you have probably heard of Inglot. They have been around for over 20 years all over the globe, um, but recently just popped on the radar in the United States. They did a couple trade shows this summer. There are only two stores in the US right now. There's one in Times Square in New York, and there's one at the Forum Shops in Las Vegas. And that one just opened like two weeks ago. I am gonna include the contact information in the info section of this video. So check that out if you want to get a hold of one of those stores and you're in the States you can do that. It is Inglot with a hard T. I only say that because when I first saw it, and I'll show you, I thought that it was Inglo, but um, it's not. It's Inglot. It's named after the owner, president, founder of the company, Wojciech Inglot. So hard T, not silent T. As far as my review goes for this, this is my review. This is what I feel about the brand and the products that I have used. And there's a lot of good news, bad news kind of stuff going on. They did send me one thing, I will say. Um, this bag here, if you can see, it's got a little logo and it's this big, which is kind of, it's actually a nice bag. It's got a zipper thing here and um, so it zips closed and um, it's got a little inside pocket. I don't know if this was like a standard free gift or if it was just them being nice, but they did send that. But other than that, I paid for everything. They do have a website, inglotcosmetics.com. However, it is a global website, meaning it is the website for the company and all the stores all over the globe. Because it's also a global website, you can't view prices and it won't let you order online. It's just sort of an inconvenience that they have. They don't have any online ordering set up. You just have to call a store and order the product. Um, and if you want to know prices, you have to call and ask because they don't list anything. The website also, just uh, by the way, does not make a distinction between which eyeshadows are in a pan form like these or which ones are in little pots that you would normally just get a single eyeshadow in. And there are more eyeshadows in pots than there are in the pans. So you're just gonna have to ask. I also noticed, this is another also, that um, some of the eyeshadows that I had seen people getting at the trade shows weren't actually in stores and they're not even on the website. So I don't know what's up with that, but it's sort of another thing. So if you did pick up some eyeshadows at trade shows this year, you may have lucked out and got some that you can't otherwise get. Alisa at PurseBuzz.com actually has a really good collection of Inglot eyeshadows. I think she has four palettes. She did a video review, which you can check out here. I will include a link in the info section as well as a link to her website and a link to the Inglot review on Temptalia.com because Christine got, I think, two eyeshadow palettes. I'll have to check, but she got some too. They're different than the ones that you'll see on PurseBuzz.com, but they both have photos of the eyeshadows, swatches of them that are really clear. You can see what you're looking at. But um, the point of this is that um, Elisa picked up some eyeshadows at the trade show. She went to the makeup show in LA. I know, because I asked, because I'm kind of nosy. And she had some eyeshadows that you can actually get at the stores, and um, I didn't see online. So I think they were ones that were just being sold at the trade show, which is cool if, like I said, if you lucked out and you picked some stuff up this summer, good for you. You may have gotten some gems that no one else can get their hands on. The moral of the story here, all this rambling that I'm saying, is really just that you need to call the store and ask for what you want. You need to ask, do you have this and how much is it? And then you can place an order. It's really easy. I believe $150 or over gets you free shipping. Under that, and I believe it's $15 flat rate, which is kind of high, but yeah, that's it. All right, so let's start with eyeshadows. The Inglot eyeshadows come in palettes like this. You can stack them. These are actually designed to be stacked like this, but I separate mine and keep the lids on 
each palette because I label the top of them so that I know what eyeshadow I'm looking at. Inglot eyeshadows come in five different finishes. There's matte, pearl, which is like a frost, um, AMC, AMC Shine, and Double Sparkle. And Double Sparkle, AMC, and AMC Shine, I had a really hard time telling a difference just by glancing at the eyeshadow which one was which. They're kind of a satiny finish, at least the ones that I have, with a bit of a glitter on top of them. If you can see that there's like this sort of sparkle that's happening on the top of these eyeshadows, that's what I'm talking about. The eyeshadow itself is actually sort of a satin, if you can see. There's no shine or frostiness to that at all. But um, it has just the slightest amount of almost like reflex gold glitter that just sort of floats on top of the eyeshadow. There's more in the pan than there is when you put it on. I didn't find that the glitter roamed. It didn't get all over the place, so I wouldn't really be concerned about that. It's actually kind of a cool effect. Some of them have it more than others but I thought it was pretty neat. Um, the pearls were my favorite texture. This one up here is Pearl 440. Um, you can see it on the skin. It's like a metallic, lilac-y, lavender-y, light, pale sort of thing. It's really pretty. This one here, this gray one, is Pearl number 434. And if you can see, I'll just, I mean, I barely touched it. And you can see how much color you get. And say, let's say this one here is Double Sparkle number 447. Again, you get a lot of color out of these. The black is black, 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 super black. I just touched that pan. Um, so that's pretty crazy. All of these colors are just ultra pigmented. 50 bucks for a palette of 10. That's not much money. You're getting 2.7 grams of product for the square pans. They also come in round. That is compared to 1.5 grams for a MAC eyeshadow. And I don't even know, I mean, you total it up. How much would 10 MAC eyeshadows cost? It ain't gonna be 50 bucks. The only thing that I don't like about these is the packaging. And don't get me wrong, it's really cool. The little magnets on the side. You can snap these and you can snap a lid on it or just have this or do whatever. But if you notice when I'm taking this apart, I'm having to pull pretty hard. You can slide and kind of get them off that way. Here, I'll show you with like the lid. You can kind of slide it this way, but you have to be very, very, very careful. These are all gouged out. And what happened was I was actually trying to take the lid off of this one and I had it stuck to this. And when I took it off, I slid it off, this whole thing kind of flew apart and all the eyeshadows ended up sort of, these pans fell to the floor and smashed into each other and it made a big mess and it was kind of disappointing. I've also noticed that when you slide the lid off, occasionally, because these magnets are super strong, you'll catch one of the eyeshadows with this magnet and the eyeshadow will end up sticking to the lid or sticking to the lid and then flying off. So, I don't know, I just think it's unnecessarily strong. The magnets are insanely strong and I know it's so you can stack several of these, but um, just be careful. And I have also, by the way, pinched my fingers several times, closing this. Ow, right there. That hurt. Moving on, because this is gonna take forever. Lipsticks, I got five lipsticks. There are no finish categories for these like there are with the eyeshadows. They are just all numbered. They have frosty ones, they have ones that are kind of glittery, and they have ones that are more creamy. They don't have any matte lipsticks, but they do sell sort of like jumbo matte pencils that are for lips. Um, I didn't get any of those, but they do sell them. The lipsticks are $12 a piece. They do have a wide range of colors. The packaging is nice. Um, it's definitely, you know, I mean, it's not cheap. It's not plastic. It's their metal tubes that they come in. I got probably about mm, two to three hours, mm, more like two hours of wear out of each of these, which is fine. The darker lipsticks held on for more like two to three hours. The lighter ones, more like two. None of them held up through a workout. I know it sounds funny to wear lipstick while you're working out, but um, none of them did. They kind of faded into oblivion when you wore them and sweat a lot. It has a very synthetic berry smell to it. And it's not that the smell's so bad, it's just that the smell is different 
for each lipstick. The fragrance is the same, but the amount of fragrance that you get is different. And when I see inconsistencies like that, the only other brand that I've used that kind of has that variation in fragrance from lipstick to lipstick um, is Wet n Wild. And they're cheap. And I'm not saying anything against Wet n Wild. They actually have some pretty fun lipsticks. But um, these really actually reminded me of Wet n Wild lipsticks. And um, at $12 a pop, when Wet n Wild is, what is it now? It's like 15 cents a silo. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a price difference. The lip glosses, I got three. I got AMC Lip Gloss 544, 545, and 546. Now you can see what these look like in the tube. These are wicked looking. They all have like this sort of duochrome thing going on. You see that sort of gold um, tone that's in there? They all have that. These are really pretty. I had to have these because they looked so awesome. And I was told that um, they were really cool. But this kind of duochrome thing goes away. At first it sort of shows up when you like first stroke it on your skin. I'm going to try and show you here. But um, you, I don't know if you can tell, but it does kind of reflect a small amount of that sort of um, that thing when you first put it on. But then it, it just goes right away. And I don't know, you can see it's not, it's not horribly opaque. These aren't sticky at all. Um, so they don't last on the skin very long. They settled into lip lines, and these did not bleed, these hemorrhaged. I didn't like these, I was really disappointed. And at $15 a pop, I really didn't think that they were that interesting. So I was kind of disappointed in these. Not though as disappointed as I was in the sleek lip gloss that I got which is this guy right here. I just got one of these because, I don't know, I just did. They had a hot pink and I thought, ooh, hot pink. And, and they said, yeah, it's really cool. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like. And I'm gonna do, you'll see this in the swatch video, but um, you put this on and whoa, ooh, look at all that color. There is like no color in this. Um, and I know that, you know, you can kind of scrape some of this off and get a little bit more, but um, meh. Again, this is like, if you don't need a lot of color, if you just think the test tube thing is kind of cool because it's kind of fun packaging, then hey, you know, go ahead, get it, it's for you. This cost $10, so it's not horribly expensive. Um, I'd rather get something that looked a little bit better personally. And let me just say, again, the smell, and I will try and make this as quick as possible. Last summer, um, I had to go into the emergency room uh, for uh, appendicitis. I actually had to have an emergency appendectomy. And part of them checking out to make sure that you do have an appendicitis and you need to go in for surgery is going in for a CT scan. In order to do the CT scan, you have to drink what feels like several gallons, but it's two containers about this big, of barium sulfate, which sort of colors your inside so that they can see it in the x-ray. The barium sulfate tastes like, they say it tastes like a smoothie. Uh -uh, it doesn't. It tastes like strawberry flavored chalk mixed with some sort of thin yogurt. Um, it's really gross. It's really awful. You have to drink it cold, super, super cold. It's the only way you can choke it down and it stinks. That's exactly what this smells like. So when I smelled this, I had this little like flashback to the hospital. It's gross. Anyone who has ever had to drink strawberry flavored barium knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's nasty. And that's exactly what this smells like. It's this disgusting synthetic berry smell that I can't stand. Some of you might like it. I have bad association with strawberry barium. That's just me. There's a part two that happens when you drink a lot of strawberry barium that I'm not going to talk to you about because I'm just too polite. But anyone who's had to do it knows what happens after you have to do it. It's pretty gross. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that was really, 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 really awful. I didn't like it at all. Bad lip gloss. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to talk about is um, the Body Sparkle. And this cost $15 for this thing. And I have to say again, I was really disappointed. I know it sounds like I hate this company, but I don't. The eyeshadows are really awesome. Um, this is what you get for $15. 
it's basically blue brown pigment in a glitter form i'm gonna open it up and see can you see how much is in there this is like the smallest amount of any product i have ever seen that i've paid 15 dollars for it's cool it's not not cool this is number 71 um <clears throat> i just thought i don't know for all of you who got really upset when MAC changed their pigment packaging, and I did too, I dare you to take $15 and spend it on one of these and say you made a good purchase. Because this is crazy small. This is dinky. So I thought that was really kind of lame. Um, it didn't look that small online. But again, I'm not near a store, and so that's it. I, I suppose I could have asked for the weight, but um, I didn't. I was kind of stupid. So Body Sparkle, no. Um, lipstick, meh. lip glosses, no. Eyeshadows, yes. These things rock. If they had a better return policy, to be honest with you, I would return everything else I got except for the eyeshadows. But that's the other thing that I was kind of disappointed in with the company is that they don't have a good return policy. Especially if you have to order over the phone. If you can't look at the product, you should have a return policy that is if you are not happy with what you got, you can return it. Um, but you can't. Once you've opened this up, it is yours for the rest of your life. But the eyeshadows are amazing. Everything else though, I would have passed on. Go ahead and check them out. Check them out online. Call the store if you want to order if you're in the States um, and they will ship it to you. Again, $150 is free shipping. Anything under that is $15. Um, these are really cool though. That's it. Inglot Review. Thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't too horrendously horrible and long and boring because um, there was a lot to talk about. I'm shutting up. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Drive safe. <laughs>